I'm Yehezkel Bernat. Uh, I'm software engineer at Microsoft, but a quick disclaimer, I'm not representing Microsoft here today. I, uh, all the opinions are only mine, so blame me. Uh, if you know me from any social network, uh, you might recognize my, my profile picture here. And before I uh, explain the, the, the topic uh, for today, uh, a bit of more background. Uh, I am also teaching at uh, Hadassah College, Jerusalem, uh, two courses of object-oriented programming, and it, it includes uh, also generic programming, aka templates, uh, design patterns, and other things, and corrupting the minds of youth with things like const west and always auto, since C17, we can remove the almost from, from this uh, uh, idiom. And uh, we use, uh, uh, as a motivation for object-oriented programming, uh, we use games as our main, uh, main assignments. Uh, most of the assignments are about uh, games. So it can be casual games like uh, Pac-Man, uh, etc. But uh, at the end of the second course, uh, the students choose uh, the game they want to, to implement, uh, uh, usually ta taking uh, inspiration from uh, classic games like Lemmings and uh, Age of Empire, uh, etc. Et and the uh, design, the class hierarchy that uh, fits this uh, problem, and implement it. And let's take a look on a typical game loop, but uh, a word of uh, disclaimer here. Uh, all the code in this uh, presentation is a uh, slideware. Uh, don't expect it uh, to compile as is. Uh, sometimes, I, I, for readability, I didn't, uh, well, uh, well, uh, I didn't, uh, didn't uh, went uh, full pedantic, uh, or even uh, on things like it's uh, a pointer or reference. So don't, uh, no, no point in the doing the code review right here. Uh, the full, uh, the full examples will be available uh, on my GitHub. Uh, same, same handle. Uh, as, as we, I have uh, everywhere, uh, everywhere else. Uh, and those you can uh, compile and uh, play with. Uh, so typical game loop is uh, while window is open, uh, we go over all the objects we have and draw them on the screen and then have to handle various events, uh, like uh, keyboard events, mouse events, etc. All the input, input from the user is, uh, uh, mainly happens here. And then we go again over all the, this time over all the moving objects uh, and move each one. And after things has moved, we have to handle collisions uh, because things might collide which uh, each with other, and um, okay, so let's zoom in into this handle collisions. Uh, so it gets vector of unique PTR of game object, because as we said, uh, we are about a polymorphism here. Uh, so we use the base class and we hold all the objects with a pointer to, uh, to the base type. And now, let, uh, again, for simplicity, let's just go over uh, all, the, all the pairs of uh, objects with a nested uh, loop. And for each one, if it collides with the, the other one, uh, we have to process the collision and do, uh, take the, the, the right action. And everything we saw 
almost everything was, okay, virtual functions, we know, we, we know how to implement them, we love them or we hate them, doesn't matter, uh, they are still uh, useful in uh, uh, various contexts. Uh, so door, move, okay, fine. What about collide? Collide must be, uh, must choose a different implementation based on two types, not, not only one. The, the dynamic type of, two, uh, of uh, the two objects that had collide. Uh, so, because where, uh, if player collide uh, into enemy, uh, the, uh, the reaction is very different uh, than uh, enemy to enemy collision. Uh, so the question is how can we do it? Uh, because the language doesn't have a direct solution to that. And so I'm going to present uh, uh, multiple solutions for this. And a word of apology, uh, I usually like to take questions do, uh, during the talk, but this is a half an hour slot, so I, I will do my best to, to, have, to have some time at the end for questions, but uh, I'm here for the rest of the day, so feel free to reach me uh, over email, uh, whatever, whatever works. Uh, so, the uh, di uh, direct approach would be, okay, virtual uh, functions so, uh, so, uh, might solve half of the problem, and the rest of it, we have a tool in the language, uh, RTTI, to, to identify at runtime what is the dynamic type of this object. So, Uh, so the first uh, change we have to do is to, to make Collide a member of, the, of our game object. Uh, so this virtual function uh, will choose the, uh, the, the right implementation based on obj0 type, uh, dynamic type, at runtime, time. And then let's go to implement it, uh, the rest. So we have the, this uh, collide that takes game object because obj1, this is the type the compiler know about, uh, game object. And we have other uh, overloadings that handle the specific types we, we are interested with. And okay, let's, uh, let's go into the implementation of the collide, uh, the, colli the, the first one. What, what can we do here? Uh, so, RTTI, uh, we have a dynamic cast. Uh, we can check if this uh, object is an enemy. Uh, if so, okay, let's call collide. And here, the compiler already knows that P is a pointer to enemy, so it selects the, the right overloading. It selects the collide that takes enemy as a parameter. So this, uh, this one will handle the player to enemy collision. And now we have to continue and test if, uh, each type that we are interested with. Uh, so collision into the wall uh, uh, or with an another player. Well, uh, when player to player collision, usually we are not interested uh, with doing anything, uh, and they can they can be on the uh, on the same uh, location in the uh, on the uh, on the game board, but we have to use it just to ignore it because we want at least some safety. Uh, this meth uh, method. Uh, if I present it, uh, it uh, first, you, I probably don't like it. Uh, but <laughs> at least uh, some improvement uh, we can get if uh, we throw at, at runtime, if we find something that, uh, that we didn't expect. Uh, so this, uh, uh, the, the, the 
the case before about uh, the player is just to ignore it. Uh, so this works, but uh, and quite simple and at least straightforward and quite simple to understand. And I can teach it uh, easily. And uh, but uh, but but. Uh, again, as I said, I, for, uh, of course, uh, don't like it. I, I hope you, uh, you, you didn't like it either, uh, because it's very easy to forget a case, and then we get a runtime uh, exception, which is better than nothing, but still uh, we would like some uh, compile time uh, guarantees. And when we add a new class to, to this uh, mix, because we had only three classes, but now we add more objects uh, to, to our game, uh, and we have to handle collisions with them too, and now we have to go and update many classes. It's not enough to, to, add, this, to add this class and uh, uh, implement whatever uh, this class needs, because all the other classes now must know about this uh, new type. And this, is a, uh, this breaks the open-close principle. Um, so we don't like it. Let's see what we can do better. So the, the first solution, the, fir the first of the better solutions is what called the uh, double dispatch. And the idea of double dispatch is uh, uh, more of the same. If vir virtual functions uh, helped us, uh, helped us uh, to, to solve half the problem, uh, so let's add more virtual functions, and then they will solve the, the other half. Uh, the idea lo uh, looks like, like, uh, like this. Um, we go again to, to the game object class, and again, same collide with the game object, but now we have here virtual functions for all the collision types we, we want to handle. All the types in this hierarchy must appear here uh, if they ever needed. Um, and what, what's, going, uh, what's going on here? Uh, let's go to one of the, of the concrete classes. And they collide with the player in case of player. Uh, we just ignore it. It's do nothing. Uh, and the other collisions uh, Im uh, are implemented as required. And let's see what happens here in the collide with game object, which, let's remember, this is what is called from, a, the, from our uh, game loop. So th this is the, the most important line here. Game object that collide this. So the, 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 the idea here is that this, we already know what what the uh, what what the type is? Uh, not uh, not only us, but also the compiler knows, because we are here inside player uh, class. So this is of type uh, player. So now we switch the order of the of the objects and call collide on game object. So let's assume for a minute that a game object is also a player, uh, the dynamic type. Uh, so collide the virtual functions uh, bring, uh, brings us again to this uh, class, to player class, because it's also player. But the overloading that the compiler chose uh, at compile time was the one that takes player as, a, uh, as an argument, because this is what uh, we passed here. So, the, uh, so we, we get the first virtual call to resolve the dynamic type of the, of the first object, 
and then switched uh, the, the order between them to give the virtual function the, the next virtual call the, a, a chance to, to resolve the, the second one. Okay, uh, so what we, we the, the main uh, benefit from, from this approach is that now if we forget to add any case, as long as we remembered to add it to game object class, the, the, uh, the base class, uh, we get a compilation error because we forgot to, to implement a, pu a pure virtual function. So we just can't use this class. And it's quite low on boilerplate uh, because, yeah, it gets worse uh, in, with the other approaches. And I, again, uh, I, I can teach it on the first semester. And it goes, uh, I think, quite well. And the, the downsides are <laughs> the downsides are that uh, it makes it uh, very, ha uh, very hard. To, to change, it's uh, okay. O open close principle again. It's uh, down the window and uh, out of the window. Sorry, um, and beca because all the, uh, we have. Uh, because again, uh, sorry, where well, I was, was. Uh, because all the uh, we have to implement all of the uh, all of the functions in all of the classes we have, um, uh, even. Those that uh, are impossible, uh, because uh, now we we have to implement uh, to implement them in the wall class, just so wall class will call us back with this uh, uh, double double dispatch. Um, so wall mu must be mu uh, must implement also a collision with another wall. Uh, And it's almost impossible to to, uh, to expand this uh, solution for more than uh, two objects. It, it gets out of control. So we have an, a, another approach uh, to, to use like manual vtable. Uh, if the compiler do doesn't know how to generate a vtable that uh, does a uh, uh, does a virtual uh, call on two, uh, two objects. Let's uh, do it ourselves. So the idea is uh, all our functions will be uh, will take two game objects, uh, or the, and we use a pair of type index. Uh, in this case, pair because we use two objects. Type index is just a, a wrapper around what type ID returns that we can uh, store and compare, etc. So uh, we can put it in, inside a container. And uh, now the container will be a map from this pair of type identities to the right function. Uh, and if uh, it bothers you that I used std map and not uh, std uh, an unordered map, so first is uh, is shorter to write on the, on the slide, and second uh, there is no standard hash for pairs, 
So we, you will have to, to implement uh, your own uh, hash function for this. So for simplicity, let's go with studmap. Um, and we will, uh, in, in a minute, we'll see, uh, the, the, we'll see how we initialize this map and to, to get uh, all, all, the, all the pointers we want. Uh, so we have here a, a row for each, uh, each uh, case we want to handle. And uh, so we take, this is, this is still uh, uh, not RTTI, uh, type ID that is uh, compile time because we just use the, the, the type itself. Uh, but this initialization, of course, happens uh, at runtime. And as all our functions take, take now a game object, uh, we have to differentiate between them by, by the name. So for player and enemy, we use player to enemy collision. For player to uh, end wall, we use player to wall. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, and uh, yeah, yeah. we have uh, many more cases here. So this might, uh, might be tedious to, to create, but uh, uh, at least we can see how this uh, can expand, uh, be expanded to, to, more, uh, uh, to more parameters. And the lookup itself, uh, we initialize the, the map once, and then we look for, for the types of the objects we got for, from the game, uh, game loop. And if we don't find any, uh, any match in this uh, map, again, we have to throw. This is, uh, again, no compile time uh, safety here. Uh, and if we found it, we just invoke the, the function. And inside the function, we know this, this is a player and this is an enemy, so we can just uh, even static cast uh, them to, do, to the right type to do whatever we have to. Uh, so what, uh, we discussed uh, part of the, uh, the pros and cons already, uh, but the uh, main, main point here is that it's very easy to, to add a new class, uh, the open-close principle is uh, uh, in effect here because uh, we just changed the, the, implement, the initialization of the map. And there are many uh, options to, to, to improve it even further and uh, make the registration uh, distributed uh, to, between uh, files, uh, etc. And there are uh, also ways to, to make the, the lookup uh, um, make the lookup a uh, constant time, uh, even without an uh, uh, unordered map. Uh, the, the, uh, many tricks that uh, you, you can see in uh, Andrea Alexandrescu book. Uh, um, Modern C++ design. It's an old book, but still uh, relevant for many things. Um, okay, we discussed this. And again, cases that we know that uh, will never happen, uh, for example, if we know that the, the first object will always be one of the movable classes, uh, uh, one of the movable types, uh, we don't have to, to handle uh, uh, the rest of the cases uh, for, for, the first, uh, for the first argument. Uh, but uh, ty type ID uh, gets us to, to, to the concrete type. We, previously, we used dynamic cast to, uh, to, uh, or, or virtual functions, so we could implement things in a, a, with a, some shared base class uh, in the middle of the hierarchy, 
but now we have to to add uh, row in the uh, in this uh, in this table for each concrete class, and again no compile time safety. So std variant. Uh, the, if the, lang the language doesn't help us, so maybe the library uh, the, uh, is uh, nicer to us. Uh, now we use std variant, and uh, if uh, any, anyone here uh, didn't, didn't uh, it's the first time for hmm? std variant? Okay, so uh, in, in a nutshell, it's a, a union uh, with with some safe, uh, with uh, many more uh, safeties around it, so we don't access the, the wrong member. Uh, so if you know union, you know std variant. And now, uh, now our handle collision from the the first, uh, uh, not, not the first, but but, but from previous uh, slide. Uh, <laughs> Now it takes vector of variants because we use only variants uh, all the way because this is the, the only way to, to to preserve the type of the of the object, and now we use std visit, which is the the uh, uh, the function the comp uh, the compiler gives us to 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 access the, the whatever inside the, the variant with. Uh, for all the cases, and we, uh, in this case, we just uh, say invoke collide uh, for for both uh, bo both uh, objects, uh, and it selects the the correct overloading because it, uh, what the what is generated inside the std visit is ca uh, uh, casting. Cast it takes the, 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 right, uh, the right concrete uh, type, and this is what uh, the lambda gets, and so this is what uh, the, the, comp the compiler will select the correct overloading of collide. And this one, uh, almost no boil boilerplate, uh, so, uh, but still have some, and we get compiler error if we forget anything, the compiler will try to, to call collide, uh, collide overloading and don't find it. So we get a compilation error. Uh, uh, and again, something that we can expand easily. And the, 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 main, uh, the, main, uh, the main downside is that uh, we... Uh, Every change when we when we add a new a new class, we must have uh, change the the using uh, to add to the variant another another type, and have to recompile all the code. And the normal polymorphic code uh, became uh, more awkward. If you notice the cast to base, uh, which I stole from Adish Avit. Uh, blog post uh, here. Um, so I'm already over time, uh, I think, and I, I just mentioned that there, uh, there was a, a try to, to add the table approach to the standard. Uh, I don't think it, uh, I think it, it died uh, lo long ago. It was uh, well, wow. it's a very long time ago. Uh, it's uh, when we used N papers <laughs> instead of P. And, and Bianas to stop uh, and so, uh, some more people say what uh, on academic uh, paper on how to, uh, to generate this table uh, at uh, not compile time, but uh, he called it a pre-link. I, I guess this is what we call today link time code generation. And, and so I don't think, think we will see it in the language uh, very soon. But. Okay. Thank you.